<clears throat> Name's Holly. It's nice to meet ya. You interested in having a little fun? Does it involve a back room and a handful of singles? Not where I was headed with that, but I can see how you might have interpreted that way. So, let me ask you something. You ever read comic books? That sounds incredibly boring. Old comics are my absolute favorite. I think they cater to human aspiration. Distilling our best and worst human qualities and pitting them against each other in an entertaining comp. The best ones show us pieces of ourselves and all the different heroes. And besides, superheroes are wicked cool. Hey, if it's important to you, it's important to I me. I grew up in an old print shop where they had a stash of undelivered comics. All sorts of great characters. But my favorite was Holly Quinn. I first noticed Holly's comic because she had the same first name as me. But as I read more of her stories, it felt like we had a real connection. Why do you say that? Holly was a good person who got drawn into a dark lifestyle because she tried to fix someone she loved. Most girls can relate trying to change a guy who's never gonna change. There's something intense and passionate about being with someone who pulls you back in each time they hurt you. No matter how powerful and strong you are as a person, sometimes you lose control. Your obsession keeps you holding on for the crazy ride, lusting after the highs and waiting out the lows. Why are you telling me all of this? All I'm saying is that sometimes us girls can get a little, you know, overzealous. When we put our minds to it, we're way more devious, scheming, and vindictive than our male counterparts could ever and be. And Holly Quinn is the epitome of that. She's an out-and-out -out crazy bitch. There's something you just want to applaud about a character so unashamed of a utterly disastrous mentality. She knows she's crazy, but she wholeheartedly embraces it and makes it work. She's a no-fucks-given, hot-pants-wearing middle finger to the rest of the world. Plus, she's fun. And who doesn't like a bit of fun? Just tell me what you need help with. I wanted to be just like Holly growing up. And part of that never went away. Lately, I've been trying to track down some of her gear. I found an old article in the Fallon's archives saying that before the war, Holly Quinn outfits were some of the most popular costumes for Halloween. I want to find one, and I think I know where to look. So, give me the details. There was an old clothing store called Hot Topic down at the Monsinger Plaza. Legend is they were in the business of selling overpriced merchandise to teens who wanted a gothic or punk look. And if the Holly Quinn costume was as popular as I'm reading, maybe they've got an extra outfit or two lying around. So, where do I come in? I don't care much for traveling down to that area without backup. Place is crawling with raiders. And everyone else here thinks that chasing after an old costume is a waste of time. But you, I've got a feeling you might be different. So, what do you think? Will you come with me? <laughs> I hope... I hope you're not under the impression I'd do this for nothing. Come on, don't bullshit me. If you weren't at least a little interested in finding some racy apparel, you wouldn't still be talking to me. If that's what floats your boat? All right then, we'll head out when you're ready. If Hot Topic doesn't have it, I know a couple other places we can look. <laughs> 